Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. Now, in the last episode, uh, basically what I did was I uh, set the river to be restricted because of carp, and I designated the main entrance, uh, where the workshops are going to go, and a little warehouse. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start designating some uh, food stockpiles around where the entrance will be. These will be moved inside eventually, but right now I want to get all the food uh, close by. I've also uh, already set the trees and plants to be gathered, so we should have some stuff to last us. Usually what I do also is I build um, a mason's workshop and a carpenter's workshop. That way I can start uh, building beds and the like, and doors really is the most important one before uh, all the crazy stuff happens. Now while uh, our miners are getting to work carving out the entrance, I'm going to start on the uh, the bedrooms. So, one, two, three, four, five, to get rid of noise, because uh, noise is in, uh, from the workshops will uh, go down in at least five Z levels. I think that's what it is. So if you build uh, deeper than 5z levels down your bedrooms, then they won't be bothered by noise. So that's kind of a neat trick to know. Yeah, just uh, designating my usual uh, bedroom complex structure here. As you can see, I've done this many a time before. Because, I don't know, I, li I like this uh, bedroom style. It, uh, it's pretty space efficient unless you uh, do too many uh, too many uh, little layers of spiral. And actually, I'm going to... Hmm. Not sure if I want to have uh, three bedrooms on this first little thing. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. And then build this around. Uh, I'm building enough bedrooms to uh, take us until after the first migrant wave. Because usually I don't, and usually I regret it. And then I'm scrambling to get beds and bedrooms ready for all of my uh, poor homeless dwarves. Although they don't mind it too much in the beginning. It's only uh, when we get into the late game and awful things start happening that it really gets hectic. So, more designating. Oh, whoops, messed that one up. And... I'll start the next little level. Now, I was experimenting with some, uh, actual fractal bedrooms a while back. So I might bring those back. I might, uh... I don't know, I'll, I'll have to think about that one, because they're a pain to designate, but they look cool, and you know, rule of cool and all that. So more of this. I guess these bedrooms don't look too bad. Almost there. Da -da -da. Alright, there we go. Now, uh, this is... Uh, let me count real quick. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's enough bedrooms to last. Alright. Um, while I'm at it, I'm going to designate the dining room as well. Now, this level, right directly below this warehouse, is going to be another level of workshops. Actually, no. The, below the warehouse is going to be another level for a warehouse, and below that is going to be another level of workshops, I think. I don't know, I'll plan it out later. So he but anyway, here, I'm going to uh, just do a little main hall, dining hall, structure. But I'm, I'm really excited about this fortress. I've never, uh, never gotten to do a uh, waterfall fortress. So, as long as it doesn't uh, eat into my frame rate, I think everything should be fine. Yeah, I like circles in designing my fortress. Circles and ovals. Those are fun. So more circly goodness. Well, that one's not the same. There we go. Ah. 
Yeah, I don't really have uh, much else to say. So, uh, yeah. Just uh, digging my fortress. Now, I've never worked with uh, mechanisms much before, beyond, you know, a millstone powered by a windmill or some complicated trap. But, I think, you know, with the uh, flowing water I have available, now might be a good time to start indeed. Yeah, I know this isn't the most uh, efficient way to uh, make a dining room with these crazy pathways, but I like it. I'll probably be making uh, living quarters with uh, bedrooms for, uh, not bedrooms, dining rooms for each of the dwarves. Uh, I think that looks good. Uh, later for the nobles when they come. Uh, I'm not sure whether I should have uh, the economy on or not, guys. What do you think? I mean, usually I try I play without the economy on, but this is a let's play, and I do want to show my uh, my loyal viewers everything there is in the game. Like, oh hey, did something else die? Okay, a horse is uh, being slaughtered by carp. And wait, are those? How did they? Hippo. Oh. Oh no, hippopotami. That is the plural, right? Uh, I'm gonna pause the video real quick. I've got to go uh, check on something. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, I did notice something peculiar. Uh, this brook or river right here. Is it a, I don't think those are brook. Those are not brook tiles. Um, it's flowing north. Well, it, it ends up flowing north. And then it curves around to go into that river uh, facing east. So that's that's interesting. I wonder which, you know, I've never actually seen that before. Kind of a uh, kind of awesome. I kind of wish I had picked a an embark site a little north and to the to the east because that way I'd be able to have more of this river. But I have enough. That's a lot of open space. Yeah, as you can see, my dwarves are happily enjoying the alcohol that they've brought here. Zero idlers. That's good. I'm going to the, instruct some doors, because uh, it's a habit I picked up from uh, playing the orc mod on the Beitoel forums, and you learn to make doors to lock out your fortress very quickly. Oh, whoa, 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 what? Fisher Dwarf has been stuck, struck down. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have uh, left him a Fisher Dwarf. In fact, somebody uh, commented on, my, uh, on the forum topic, reminding me to make him not a Fisher Dwarf anymore. Oh, I forgot. Uh, what was his name? Dakost Libadadok. I don't know what the accent mark of the O means. I'm sorry, Dakost. You are... You're dead. I uh, wonder where his corpse got to. Um, if I'm quick, I can go to the stocks menu. Remains for... Um... Dang. Oh, uh, that's right. I don't have a... What's the word? Not a scribe. Oh hey, I have struck Micah. How exciting! At least it means uh, they've started to dig out, but they haven't finished the entrance yet. No, they haven't. Well, I can start uh, putting some beds up in these tiny chambers. I think we have enough beds for all of our dwarves, but we only have six rooms. Oh wait, we only have six dwarves. Forgot about uh, Dakos there. Well, problem solved. Um, are they still making doors? Oh, cool. We have enough doors. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, we don't have any stone. Well, now we have stone. Oh, I'm just going back and forth, aren't I? Alright. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, we're good for this video. Uh, not sure what else I can do until these... Well, here, I can make this a barracks. Until uh, the stuff I've designated has gone. So, alright, that now, finally, is going to be the end of this video. Uh, this is Jerothor, and I'm signing off, and I'll see you next time. Bye!